All right, so load of the day, guys. This was all from one house. Yeah, one house, and then the truck had stuff on it too, which I already unloaded. This was from last last night. Uh, I did this what it was six o'clock last night. Got home, but no, I guess five thirty, going to six. Got home by seven because all the stuff had to come out of the basement, and of course I had to help the guy. So, but uh, anyhow, I don't usually go into basements. Uh, I'm I'm past that lugging on stuff out of people's basements. But I figured, what the heck? With all of this, it was worth it. So what we got is a bar fridge, freezer, uh, oil tank, uh, furnace, and wash machine, and another hot water tank, a couple bikes, uh, and I think, oh yeah, there's a pump. He said the pump worked. I don't know if it does or not. I might try it, because that might work great for my, uh, uh, when I haul water. So, and then this here, he said this has got copper in it, so if it doesn't, no big deal. I'll just roll the bin if it's just, you know, metal, metal and plastic on it. Um, I think that's about it for there. As you can see, my dollies on there because we had to bring stuff out of the basement. So I'm going to show you what I got on the truck, and I got some goodies. Uh, and then you know, I mean, I'll show you how the bin's coming. I haven't done anything to the bin. I throw a bit of loose stuff in it, but I've been working on it. It's extremely hot. Um, I've had a lot going on, so um, I've just been working. Just kind of. My niece has been here. She cut the lawn. Um, but did she do that? I think she did that on Monday because it was can't no, it was uh, holiday was Monday, Canada was Saturday, so or was it Sunday? I don't know. She came, but she got the lawn anyhow. I've been tending to the goats, as you guys know. Um, just trying, I'm trying to still finish up the goat building. We got the roof on it finished. I still got to get the foam board for the outside to heat it to make sure that it keeps the warm the heat in it for the winter because it gets cold here. All right, so we still got this stuff to go in and this here for a reason. That's one of the reasons why I picked it up, because it's got nice juicy motor in there, and it's got some other stuff in there. It's got two motors in it, and it's got some other. So, and it's got wire running through it, so. And then two uh, dishwashers, which I'll take the motors out of them, put the wire, and I think that's not stainless stainless, because the magnet sticks to it, so. I'll show you what's in the bin. Like I said, I haven't had a lot, I haven't done a lot of work to the bin. As you can see, I threw one, one bed thing down there, and a bunch of loose stuff in here, that's it. I haven't thrown a lot in it, guys. So, but uh, yeah. So, I'll gradually get back doing it. I just haven't had a chance. I still got to finish clean up along here. Uh, I'm trying to. I'm doing the merge of trying to paint in the house. Uh, I'm trying to clean my mom's room out from upstairs. Um, uh, Lori's been helping my niece, so um, I've been busy. I mean, it's been hot, but you know, oh yeah, the goats. You can hear them in the background. Maybe I don't know. It's hot for them too. Um, I haven't let them out today. So anyhow, let's go on over and I'll show you guys what I got. Let's see what I got over here. There's steel over here too, guys. I just threw it off because I was in a hurry last night because I wanted to get it off because I had to go grocery shopping last night. I had to get cases of water, literally, because it's like so hot. Like every time we do work aside, we're all drinking like, you know, four or five bottles of water. So, and like I said, over the weekend, we got a lot of stuff done, so. But that was a nice juicy piece. So that's all copper. I got to take the plastic off it, so I'll cut it off. I'll peel it. And then that's number one. Cut the brass piece off, the nugget off the end of it. There's a nugget on there. It's brass. Right there, there's the nugget brass. The rest is copper, guys. So then, all this stuff too. Lights and all that. It's all going to go in the bin, but there's cords on this stuff. It's got to be cut off. So what else is the ring tractor? Oh yeah, I got a battery. I got all the microwaves and all the air conditioners done that was here. Um, yeah, I had a comment, someone asking me what I do about, uh, fridges, uh, the Freon stuff. I actually have a guy that comes take it out, but my scrap that I have, uh, they actually, if you take it, if you take them, a uh, fridge or a stove for anything, or not a stove, but a fridge, anything that has Freon in it, they'll take it, they pay you less because they got to pay someone to come in and take it all out too, before they can dispose of it, so... Uh, but I already had it. I've had a guy for a long time doing it, and he just comes and takes it out for me. So when when I usually, by the time I get around to cleaning them or whatever, they're already got stuff out of them. So these ones over there, I'll set them off, and then uh, I'll let him know. Usually he just stops by and, you know, or he'll give me a text or whatever and say, hey, have you got any to do? And I usually say, yeah, there's like, you know, whatever. And if he's out in the area, he'll come and do them. So, and I got, you know, like air conditioning stuff. So you usually just pile them off and let him do them. That's why I had them piled here. Because I'll just pile them off, and then once he does them, I usually put them inside. But I said, you know what? I'm not loading them, and then put them inside. I cleaned the air conditioners I had here. I think there was, what, three? Three or four, as you can see. My mountain pile. Oh, yeah, he gave me that BX to all that. He gave me what was left of that BX there. It's not a lot, but then I can just burn the, the spool, because it is wood. 
So I got motors, as you can see. Lots of motors there, guys. So, and anything that's aluminum, these ones are all aluminum over here. All these motors here, that's in there, they're all aluminum motors. I'm not cleaning them, because they're only aluminum. They're not copper. Oh yeah, some more wire for Irene. It's got to go in her bucket. Uh, your bucket's getting full, Irene. I don't know if you can see it over in there. It's already overflowing. I gotta get a bigger thing to put it in. Anyhow, so that's about it, guys. That's all I'm doing. And it's really hot today, so, uh, whew, I don't know. And I got all the stainless that's got to go yet. So, I don't know. I still got one of these to clean yet. I just moved it over here. It's got a big old motor in it. That one there has that. There he is. I already did one. It's got that motor right there in it. It's got to be chunks of brass on it. So, I definitely want to clean them. So, um, I got my tires from my trailer. Brian got them on the uh, rims. They're inside the building. I just haven't put them on yet. It's been bloody hot, and my bin, my crap wire bin, oh, if you want to see it, there it is, with light bulbs and everything, and it's just in there, so I'm not falling over it, and there's squirts and everything in there, guys, I'll just sell this for, I think it goes for 80 cents or something like that, 80 or 90 cents, probably, but uh, I'm not in any rush, like I said, usually in the winter, you know, you, you don't get as much, so I save a lot of stuff, and then I can cash it in the winter, so I still have money coming in, because, I mean, all this stuff is in here, obviously, this is all going to be clean, oh yeah, Brian brought me a load of wood, He'd cut some wood down at his uh, girlfriend's uh, mom's place. And this was an old pine tree, which is fine with me. I'll just take the wood splitter and split these big blocks. I piled all the, because he had a full half ton load. I piled the rest inside, well I should say. I threw the rest inside the building. So I just got to split these, throw them inside, and then the hut's done. I got to cut those kids up, and then they can be tossed inside for winter. This, ch this table's got to go because it can't stay there for the winter, obviously. So I'll be taking it down and then probably just standing it up on the far side out of the way until next winter or next summer after I'm done doing what I gotta do and all those boards are gonna be cut up so yeah I got so much stuff here guys and still got all that fencing there I haven't got rid of it yet I'm gonna use it maybe I think for a goat to, uh, uh, thing for they can run around I mean I can't always be home with them so there's the pipes like I said there's the pipes off that hop, that tank you gotta cut them off so piece of cat or piece of uh, cast aluminum yeah there's tons of stuff here like I mean it's I got lots to do guys so and I just it's really hot it's like I think it's already I think it was like 85 already and it's not even what 10 o'clock maybe 10 30 at the latest right now might be 10 30 so can you imagine what's gonna be at uh, at noon it's probably gonna peak at about 100 maybe today maybe 95 maybe I don't know it's been hot so it's not good for my mom so but as you can see I did all the uh, microwaves so there's the uh, there's one there another one over there so but, uh, yeah, so I'll be cleaning that copper there, guys. That's a nice chunk. He gave me some other wire, too. I don't know exactly where I threw it. I threw it off because I was in a rush last night just trying to get it off. So, vacuum cleaner, I just want the cord off, and then I'll throw the rest in the bin. I'm not sure what's in there, but it was all wire and stuff. So, it all adds up, guys. I mean, I got bins and bins of wire just laying around. Like, garbage cans here. I think there's some inside that I haven't moved around. So, I got a, a little lawn chair over there. So... It's a swirly one, but it's hard to take apart. So I may just end up throwing the dirty aluminum after I cut the top off it because the bottom is fine, really hard to take apart. I got a bunch of these, I think, up there too. I got some fencing that's got to go in the, in the bin. It's like something you put around a garden, not very high. So it's going to go in the bin. There's a tomato plant thing there. Stuff that I just going to toss in the bin down there. We already have enough tomato plant things. My mom doesn't plant enough tomatoes. We only have like, what, what two, six plants. So that's plenty. So... But there's my little hoard so far, guys. Just, you know, mainly that's my goodie pile. And I just keep picking through it and throwing stuff on. Like all the motors that are there, um, the small ones, I don't clean them, guys. So, but there are some juicy ones in there. There's already one that's ready. Look at that. There's a juicy one. Look at that. Look at that. Woo! It's copper, too, guys. Not aluminum. There's just starters. I don't do starters and old niggers. I just throw them in a pile. And then I cash them in. So... Yeah, it was a decent pile I got yesterday. I got this. Like I said, it was on the trailer. Uh, hot, but I got it all. I mean, it's been so hot. I've been going through like two or three t-shirts in a day because they're just soaked from sweating. So, but anyway, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.